What's up, everybody? It's Avery here, and welcome back to some more PGA Pro Tour 2K23. Uh, we're doing pretty good on this hole. For some reason, uh, OBS decided it di didn't want to record. I started the recording and looked over and realized it wasn't actually recording. So we are on the 10th hole already. We'll play this plus another round. We're doing actually really good. I'm kind of bummed out that it's not catching all of it because we're doing all right. Anyways, um, yeah, very, very, very disappointed. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of sucks, dude. It really does. It's, it, it's, it's irking me a little bit. So, we'll see what happens. Damn it. The nine iron here. Now I'm all flustered because I just, because OBS screwed my head up a little bit. And now but, we're doing pretty good. Well, she's got that four Our rival is Brooke. Now. We're playing at Innisbrook. And, uh, yeah. Right Dude, and nice. She goes. Get out of here. Marching up the leaderboard. A chance to move to six under the card with this putt. Looking for another birdie here. Now I'm just irritated as fuck. Three feet to go here to the hole. I'm, I, I'm, I'm probably going to switch. Very few parts of the golf course make you feel comfortable, but chance of birdie because finally we have a I don't know. I used to use Streamlabs OBS and then I switched over to OBS and it's not it wasn't bad, but now it just keeps kicking off the recording. I'm not understanding why. This is like the eighth time it's done it. It has no updates, anything like that. So three wood, let's come over. Hold on. Oh, no. It's not going to be good regardless of how we do this. So let's just come up here. Let's just get into the area. And it's going in the sand. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. Oh, that Actually, I'm just going to leave it straight at it. I should have put more spin on it. It's still a fair way away from the flag. Good chance to move to six under par here. And <sighs> give them birdie number six on the day. And that will move him to six under par. This is just irritating, dude. Like super, like super, super irritating. Place. I don't know what to do. And let's see what it's, that shot did to the leaderboard. Aggravating the hell out of me. Our current leader is also in your heart, standing on the twelfth tee, a short par four rich. Decisions to be made. Just a long iron or a hybrid for this tee shot here. Luke, second shot, you're coming in with some kind of short iron to a green that's protected by a deep bunker in the front. We're just going to start taking shots. I got to stop. From around okay. Yards. Let's do 160. By a stroke. 155. That's pretty close. Three mile an hour wind. That should be okay. Going with the seven. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. All right, guys. All right, guys. Two birdies in a row. Two birdies in a row. We're just going to keep going. If we could birdie and eagle the next couple holes, that'd be all right. So my goal was trying to get, like, over 10 under par. Three plays 200 yards. Look, this tee shot is about as hard as eighth grade algebra. It is absolutely mind bending. It doesn't look like much, but that green absolutely rip. I think the green is made out of Gore-Tex. It repels golf balls. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, that was nice. Absolutely in there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Good look at Birdie. You'd have to be fucking dumb to miss that one, dude. Like, no matter what. Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Come on, get your 80 foot putt. Oh, she's offline. Well, that's yeah, a bit disappointing. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. So we're eight under. We still have time to get over 10 under par. 14, there's plenty to it. 
so oh we're gonna go driver can reach this one in two so any tee shot just out to the right is ideal that way it leaves an easier shot out to the left for your layup the third shot will be going downhill oh that's ugly guarded by a deep bunker over on the left hand side if you find the fairway with your second shot you've got a really good chance to hit your third in there close That should be good. There we go. Now it's just a small chip in. The third shot. The third shot. In the lead by a shot. I think that should be good. Two miles an hour. Ugly as shit. But gets close. Roll in. Ah, oh, oh, damn, bro. And that puck will drop. And he'll extend damn, that was close. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that. Yep. Maintaining it. Let's go. Par three continues to be a feature here at the Copperhead course, and 15 is no different. It is. Thankfully, though, this is the flattest green or m one of the flattest greens on the golf course here. It's basically just a long iron down the hill to this flat green, but don't miss it left. That is no good. That should be all right. I don't want to go full power. I just want to get close. This one's heading well towards the green. I just wanted to get close to it. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Yep, chipping. Let's see what happens. Just your standard old two K chipping. This will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Why did I? Why? Why did I adjust it? Why did I adjust it? Oh, well, hold. Now an impressive nine under par with just a few holes remaining. With just a small sliver of a lead, this could go any different direction down the stretch. Yeah, that's fine. Boop, 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 boop. Time for the second shot. Time for the second shot. Uh, it's only two miles an hour, but we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to back it out. Should be good. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, is that two mile an hour wind? We'll up it a little bit. And and I it. That was over clubs. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by three. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Well, I got two shots. Two shots, I say. Leading by three strokes now. We got two, two shots so to make can they hang ten on? under. Let's find Which we easily could do that. We can easily make two under. Ultimate hole is a good par three playing up the hill. You know what? We're just gonna go. Shot plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green. Oh, dude! If I would have went to full bar, Jesus, that would have been good. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. If I ever see him going from the sand, we know it's a chip in. What the hell was that? And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. The closing hole. All right, let's get 11 under. Head course is also the final hole of the snake pit. And this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill. But if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. Oh, yeah. And Easily. What's he looking at here? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Quite an elevated. So we're going to up club up. Can we club up a second time? Wind's one mile an hour. We'll just leave it. There's a good chance I'm going to mess the shot up anyways. 
Going with the eight iron here. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. All right, can we do this? Good moment. A putt to win the tournament. A putt to win the tournament. Looking good. Boom. Drops to the bottom, Rich. They are now the Valspar champion. What a performance. Yeah, what a performance. What a win. I mean, just this player was just amazing all week long. That was pretty good. Pretty good game. And I gotta give props to my boy in the booth, Rich Beam. I think you picked this one at the start of the week, didn't you? Luke, it's just it wasn't a difficult pick, let's be honest. This player has been consistent all season long. Getting the victory, no surprise whatsoever. Really good stuff. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helby. Thanks for tuning in. We'll all right. Perfect. Bam, bam, damn. Hell yeah. I'm sorry, Brooke. We uh we had to do it though. Let's go. I say that now and then the next round we play is just gonna be all sorts of messed up because that's how it goes with me. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got the Wilson Infinite Windy City or the Ping PLD Prime Time 4. Um, let's go with the ping, I guess. Uh, equip to all. Continue. Oh, I got a new hat. Uh oh. Nike. Nope. Cobra. Nope. You had your chance, Cobra. Callaway. You know what? We can accept it because we don't. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Confirm. Uh, let's go to our player here real quick and let's re-equip everything that we got. Um, collection here. We've got the, we're already on that one, okay. That's not gonna matter, that's not gonna matter, it's not gonna matter, it's not gonna matter, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to let's go to ping. Fittings. What new fittings did we get? What new fittings did we get? Oh, we got okay. Putt path. You know, what? let's select that one. And then we will hybrid grip power we lose timing pass swing and lie range but we gain power yeah let's just do it let's do it all right apparel tops got the new adidas we have anything else no no hats we've got the new adidas and then we got golf We'll wear that one just because it says golf. Very generic, you know, like the old TV shows that would have like the can of beer that says beer. <laughs> oh, it's new kicks. Sketchers. Nah, look at them things. I don't have orthopedic issues. Except a little neuropathy. What am I missing here? It's showing that I'm. Do we get new colors or something? No. I don't see anything that we missed. All right, anyways, so let's go back. Now we're gonna go take on, oh, the Valero Texas. So I thought I said Velcro. The Velcro open. <laughs> All right, let's go, cause you know what? We're filling it. Yeah. Sorry, Morikawa. This might get ugly. I like you. Good golfer.
but it might get ugly. Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Valero Texas Open. Today's right. coverage is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Coy. That's down on the court. not a bad shot. Look at that. 319 yards. It could be better. Particular featured group because there are rumors I'm gonna club down. the rivalry starting to bubble between these two players. So it looks like they're trying to beat Colin Morikawa this week. That's ambitious. Seems like Damn a it. Jewel from the that win should have carried it. It literally should have carried it, but whatever. I almost just have to laugh. Someone saying they're going to beat Colin Morikawa. Does that even happen these days? He's it does. He's one of the most consistent players on tour. I don't know that he's beatable. Well, well it's about to happen. He's been accused of having a balky part of a cane. I'm going to arc it a little bit just to avoid that tree. Oh, we're good. We have plenty of fairway space. Until I do that, fuckers. Penny, how's that? Well, it's a little deeper into the rough, but it's sitting nicely. All right, let's get the shit back on the. Let's get let's get back on track here. I guess we go there. I don't like it, but whatever. Ugh. What the hell's going on, dude? Nicely done. Yeah, nicely done, but uh, it doesn't make sense. Shots, Rich. These players have just a short wedge into this par five second. The green sits above the player ever so slightly, which makes this third shot a little more difficult, but let's face it. It's a short shot with a short club. Yeah. A birdie can be expected. Morikawa, come on. Oh, yeah. Hit ch chip in. Chip it in. Chip it in. This one's for birdie. This is on a stupid. Oh, my God. I didn't think that was going. Nice. Let's go. Uh, Rich, let's head to the par three third, the first of our uh, shorter holes. You really hope that the wind is not blowing into your face on this tee shot and making it that much more difficult and longer. This green's perched up high. There's runoffs all around the left hand That's side in the back portion of it, and obviously you want no part of coming up short. Players that find this green will find it difficult to two putt as there's lots of. What do you mean? There's a lot of humps and bumps. There really is, but that was clean. That was a nice little birdie. Moving up the leaderboard. Moving up the leaderboard. This is one of the stronger par fours at TPC San Antonio, stretching 485 yards. This is a very narrow, uh, area, especially uh, when it comes into play down the left. Holy side. shit, out of bounds? Second shot is to a green that runs from right to left with a deep bunker down the left hand side. Anything missed out to the right is no bargain either, as there is a runoff here. <laughs> <to the right laughs> Let's do this, this shit. Difficult par four. Oh, what a fucking third thing. Third yeah, third shot. Down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. We're not going to get nothing, dude. What are you talking about? We can't get shit done. We can't do anything. We're, we're, we're stuck, dude. Hey, okay, let's do a... Uh, I don't want to putter. Get the hell out of there. A chip. A little chip shot. Could technically kind of do it this way, but it's going to hit the trees regardless of how I do it, so. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. No, it's going to get me where I need to be. That's not but now I'm line. screwed. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. God damn it. I really should have been more careful. 
I really should have been more careful. Get up there. Oh my God. This for bogey. Are we going to go up from the sand? Yeah, it's a chip in. He's two strokes back from his rival. It's just about three feet away. One stroke back from his rival now. This one for a bogey. Tony Finau is currently leading the event. Tony, I'm coming for you, buddy. We already did this. PC San Antonio gives you a few chances to get after the golf course, Rich. And right here at the fifth, there's a decision to be made off the tee. This is an excellent opportunity to be brave. Knock it on with the driver. There we go. If you lay back with an iron, a very straightforward pitch. But I just don't see the players wanting to lay up. Me neither. Ouch. Not bad. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Boom. Ooh, nice putt to make. Got him. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move. Yes, it point. is. Yes, it is. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's two strokes behind his rival this week. Damn. Soft hands around the green. What a skill. Soft hands. Soft yes. hands. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. I'm coming for you, Tony. In this tournament is Tony Finau. Lovely play. Time to see what this par four has in store. Players must find the fairway, avoiding that bunker down the right-hand side. But from there, second shot is up the hill to a green that runs away from the players ever so slightly. But still, going in with a short iron into this par four, a birdie is definitely makeable. Let's go. A bad line, why? How's that a bad line? Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this back one into down. their grill. Damn right. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Fuck you, dude. Left and not coming back. And from the bunker here. Hmm. Ah. Wow. That's right out of the Gary Player highlight reel. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. And on the lead. Let's go. Let's next hole. Next hole. Behind the talented Tony Finau. It's 11 miles an hour. A five wood. ugly i don't like it this is bad it's gonna be horrible anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice oh damn i guess it was way better than i thought it was gonna be yeah he needs to press on that gas pedal he's two strokes back from his rival Get in. got it wonderful shot oh yeah that's huge oh the celebration that's a little spicy i don't know if these two are going to be talking now Oh, yeah, we are. Looking good. We'll be our. Oh, no. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for Fuck. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. We have a par five on. I'm this. telling you, Fina. Uh. See, how come when I do this and it hooks way over this way, right? Which, I mean, I understand that's my hand. But the problem is, is like, this went way over this way. The wind's only eight miles an hour, barely cutting off to the left, right? And the ball went straight to the center of the fairway, even though it should have went like off in the rough. Sorts out the place, doesn't it? It does that and possibly more, Luke. I have to say that coming to this tournament since its inception here at TPC San Antonio, I was a little dumbfounded on exactly how to play it because there was danger everywhere. Everywhere. These golf courses where it's relentless, where you just don't feel like you stand on any particular shot and feel like it's easy. Like it's you can breathe easily and go ahead and uh, go maybe on one or two fun. holes, but that's about it. There is danger seemingly everywhere, especially off the tee around this golf course. Most notably, the ninth hole where one player hit his first shot to the right, and then it stayed That's right. That's fucking right, horrible. Right, 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 right. And then all ended up to a 16. So that's horrible. there you go. I think that's the highest score ever recorded in a PJ Tour event as well. A 16. Where? At TPC San Antonio. Oh, dude. That'll sting a bit. 
Yeah, just a little bit. Feet from the hole. Just one off the lead after that hole. The closing hole on this front nine at TPC San Antonio is a strong par four. Wow, I didn't even know they had this power. Great drive. What do you mean? It was only 95% power. I went too far. What's the play I still got to figure out how to do the power ups. I, I still do. You see where the flags are flickering and it's straight back up into this player. Looks like they've got the five wood. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. It was, because the caddy usually well, screws me up. <laughs> he's currently trailing his rival. How did he see not? What happens here. I'm surprised he didn't let him make that in. I really am. Genuinely. This part to move into a sheriff first. <sighs> you know what? Oh. If I put a little less Luke juice onto it. All 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ Tour. This is what they have left for a part. He's currently in a share of sixth. A share of sixth. Players make the turn. They find themselves on the tee. We need to pick up our game here. Driving area on this downhill par four that dog legs slightly from left to right. Second shot will be back up the hill to a green. Boom, well boom, boom. Oh, what the fuck was that? Super hard ass ground. Opportunity if you find the fairway. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I got to say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. Yeah. This putt but will move them to three under par. We'll see what happens. Ah. Uh. A par putt awaits. Okay. Let's that was, that was, that, that could have been better. Let's be honest. I'm slacking. Colin Morikawa. He's one stroke behind his rival Chipped in. in this event. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Hey, so we need two birdies to tie, three to win. Tee shots must be placed on the left-hand side to get the best view and angle for their second shots as the screen sits below the player and moves from left to right. Tee shot there we go. Right That's not bad. Might be closer, but it's going to leave a second shot over. But it's downhill. Yeah, we're going to. Making it that much more difficult to get close. Shit. Let's try that. They get a little ground draw here. What the hell? See, that was predetermined. Anything in five feet. He's a good little ground roll before I even hit the ground. Didn't quite have the right stuff. It would have been fine, but I screwed that one up. That's well hold. Whatever. Par. <laughs> we got to get these. Uh, really challenging, especially around the green. This tee shot is underrated in difficulty wise. This is not an easy tee shot as this fairway pitches from left to right. So you can increase the power a little bit by just barely going into the red. If you get halfway into the red, it goes 95, 95% or less. So on the golf course. As they say, Luke, everything is bigger in Texas, and these bunkers are proof of that. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. For sure. All right, let's get three under. Come on, Morikawa. Good putt. Long putt, ridiculous putt. Of course. Good shot, bud. Good shot. He'll move to three under par. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Just gotta trickle this one in the front door. Oh, dude. 
Fuck. Opportunity to make their par. And after that performance, they'll stay right where We're still doing all right, you know what I mean? But still, like, Grayson, I, I got to get you, bud. Three measuring 245 yards, Rich, but it is playing downhill. It is downhill, playing downhill. Sliver of a green, however. Anything missed out to the right will leave a very challenging pitch shot to a green that will sit well above them. You come up short in those bunkers, well, that's no bargain either. A three here, well, you done good. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Yep. Another one. And another one. Oh, inside the top five on the leaderboard. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I, I, I can't go by the grid. I really can't. I just got to go by. I just got to go by like my, my gut because some of them show that it's moving super fast and the ball barely moves. For his next shot here on the 18. And other times it's moving super, super slow and it the ball will curve real quick. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. What do you think of the 14th, Richard? Par 5, 507. 11 mile an hour wind behind us. This is a really good par 5 here, Luke. T shot wants to favor the right hand side of the fairway if at all possible, shortening the hole some 20 yards. Second shot must avoid those fairway bunkers down the right and on the left hand side. A of course, that's where it's going to go. To this green, should players go for it in two? That's a heavy lie this player has drawn. Quite sure about the what the fuck was that? This could be heading towards the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Not think there. Yeah, this is lovely. It wasn't really lovely, but it was whatever. And this putt to move into a tie for third place. Go in. It's not going to. There's no way. There's no way. Nine foot chance here. He's got this for his part. It's not going to go. Just didn't drop. It's not going to. Well, hold. Let's move on. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. As we start heading for home, Rich, we find ourselves on the tee at the 15th. Could be the hardest hole. We're going to make the ugliest shot possible, and it's going to be perfect, right? right? Second shot. Pushed <laughs> above the fairway and surrounded by four bunkers that are mean. This hole could make or break a player's day. Oh, I'd rather go iron. for the five iron oh we're after there yeah it is Ren took that one offline in a hurry not really boom Boy, Rich, that was that's what I was going for out of the rough into the hole thank you very much yeah welcome one more look at that shot what can I say except you're welcome to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out. He's going to chip in. Here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Our leader is a Oh, he's in up at this stage. Oh no. Oh no. As we find ourselves at the 16th. Oh no. Great entertainment here, Rich, especially with the center bunker. Love this hole. Probably my favorite one on the golf course, even with that bunker in the middle. The back portion of this green actually is an amphitheater, so anything missing a little bit long on both sides should wander back onto the green. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. And he's safely on the green. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. And yes, we are. To move into the top five.
God damn it. It's disappointing. And this putt coming up for his par. He finds himself tied for sixth. And we're still in top 10, that's fine, but. San Antonio, there's a number of options that can be taken. This 17th's a fascinating hole. Luke, if it's playing downwind, a driver is a must. If it's back into the wind, take out the iron for safety. A couple under at this stage. Get a little chip in here for Eagle. Position. fourth place that's fine now let's switch our focus to colin morikawa he's currently in third place there you go second place now didn't oh they didn't give it to him holy shit so it did look good for a long time this is what the leaderboard looks like our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke oh, lead grayson you won this one that top spot on the leaderboard and this is getting interesting What the hell was that, Zavron? Nice that was a crap strike. What are you talking about? That was garbage. Do I go there or do I go here? That's the question, right? It's back in my face regardless. So I guess we try that. See what happens. No! Okay. <laughs> it shit looked like it was going straight over to the water. Sitting at three under par. Tied for fourth. Going with the pitching. That's ugly. Eh, look out left. No. What are you talking about? Look out left. When got that one and took it wayward. A touch of glass got it. Don't mind. A great way to close out the day with a little chipping. Nothing like it. Good stuff. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Great feel, great judge, great speed. Yeah, I like this. See what happens. Sadly, no back-to-back -back victories here for this player. Rich, nope. You'd have to be impressed with their performance. But still, Luke, this player did everything to seal back-to-back -back wins on the PGA Tour. I didn't lose to Morikawa, and we tied for second, so that's not bad. Two awesome weeks. It could be better, but. And all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports. I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for joining us. Nah, I won. See you next time. Why? How did I win? Oh, cause I got six birdies. You only got four. You'd think the bogeys would decline, uh, would negate that though. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens here though. Taylor made. Here we go. Uh, equipped to set. That's fine. Do I wear? I mean, we could put on a Callaway glow. That's fine. Hybrid shaft power, wedge timing head. Okay. You advanced. Okay. Who we got next? 2K. Um. I don't know if I should go with the 2K clubs because they're probably like OP, huh? If you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to decline them for now. Tattoo golf. No. Cobra, no. You had your chance. You guys dropped me like a bad habit. <laughs> All right, so let's go to our collections here.
fittings. I don't know if we changed the fittings. We lose three yards, huh? This one will gain four yards on our hybrid. Yep. Apparel. Glow. We got the Callaway. What? What is it talking about? And then hats, we've got what? A new tailor-made hat. We're good. All right, cool. This is where we're going to go ahead and end this episode. Sorry about all the crap that happened with the other, the first part of the video. But yeah, let's see. Cut it loose. Activation of poor swing timing. Uh, it's on the woods. You know what? Let's do this. See how that goes. But yeah, that's where we're going to go ahead and end it. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day.